The exclusivity strategy, what is it and how can you use it to grow your property consultancy? That's what we're talking about in this video. The exclusivity strategy is about buying exclusive access to a group of customers. To give you an example of this, I was previously involved with a company that installed very specialist pieces of equipment. Now, there was only a handful of manufacturers in the world that built this equipment. But what we did, we purchased a license with one of those manufacturers so that, would, that we would be the only company in the UK that could install their equipment. It basically meant that if someone wanted to buy their equipment, they had to come through us to get it. Now, that manufacturer probably made up about 20 to 30 percent of the market. So it gave us a nice share of the UK market. It can be the same with certain types of franchising. You basically buy someone else's brand in the form of a franchise. And then you might have two or three brands that all sit alongside each other. They might all provide the same core product, but, but the different brands attract different types of customer. You see this, this with the various hotel brands. Many of the large hotel brands are actually franchises. So one hotel operator will buy franchises for, say, Holiday Inn, Radisson, Best Western, and they'll, they'll operate each of, the, each of those brands. And they'll operate them in different properties. But by owning those three brands in that area, they get access to anyone that wants to stay at any of those hotel brands. So this strategy can give you access to a new client base. It can give access to new service offerings and sometimes even increased pricing. Another example, one of the more high profile service franchises, they have contracts with some of the big, big national and international chains like McDonald's and Pizza Hut. But because they have contracts set up with these large clients already, those charge out rates are already set. And in some cases, these, these rates are twice the standard charge out rate for that type of service. So buying one of these franchises gives you exclusive access to clients you wouldn't normally have access to. Coming back to the hotel example, each of these hotel brands are positioned at different levels for price. So you, you get customers that are happy to pay £200 a night who stay in one hotel brand, whereas another customer might only want to spend £50 a night. And so they go with that with the brand at the cheaper end of the market. So the hotel operator gets to own the market for hotel guests in that area. It doesn't matter where the guest stays, the operator still gets paid. They're buying access to that group of customers. So how can you use this strategy to grow your property consultancy? The first thing you need to ask is, what are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to get access to a group of customers? Are you looking for a new product offering that you can offer your customers? Or are you looking for a way to increase your pricing? When you, when you know what your objective is, then it's a case of looking for companies that have that one point covered. And you, you approach that business with the opportunity of working in some kind of exclusive partnership. The, the way to position this is probably to think about what, what you can provide to them. What are they looking for? In our own example, the equipment manufacturer, they were looking for a way that they could have someone in each country marketing their products and then have specialists that could install them. So this is what we provided. And with that arrangement, we agreed to purchase a set amount of products every year. So they had a guarantee and could focus on manufacturing that number. What they didn't want to do was do marketing campaigns in each country. If we'd proposed to be the exclusive installer, but they do the marketing for it, they'd, they'd never have gone with us because marketing wasn't their specialism. They just wanted to focus on manufacturing. Now, the key is to understand what exactly do they need that you can help them with. Find whatever gap they have and then fill it. Now, so, so, so that's how you use the exclusivity strategy to grow your property consultancy.